I don't think there's ever been a team in the whole league, never mind a Panthers team, that's had as many preparation games for the visit of Cardiff as we are. Yeah, we've been on the road. A lot of long trips, a lot of time together. The guys seem to uh, know each other in and out. Uh, so there's some good times, a couple bad times, but uh, all in all, the guys are uh, on the top four. He says he loves it. You love Charles Landry. And yes, you're speaking as heck, aren't you? Hasn't been very fun. There's no doubt about it. You know, obviously when you go through an injury, you want to get back. And I haven't been able to play yet, but hopefully it's. Let's hear it from Mark Lee. Chris Lawrence, come up here. Let's hear it for Chris Lawrence. I've been a microphone for most of my working life. I can tell you the people that say it's just talking on in a microphone are wrong. But Sam's got some training. So I've just had the brainwave to give me a rest. And you're about, well, you're taller than me, so you're closer to him. So, for the next couple of minutes, Chris Lawrence will be introduced to the fans of the GMB Nottingham Panthers by Sam Oakford. Hi, Chris. Uh, Chris, what's your first impression of Nottingham as a city? That's a really good question, thank you. Uh, first impressions have been wonderful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You've done this before, haven't you? Right. Uh, first impressions have been awesome. Um, as Lisa said, uh, everybody here is uh, the organization, the first class, front office, uh, players, coaching and staff. Um, and, first, and most of all, the fans, uh, even in the Champions League games, uh, I'm amazed to see the uh, type of support that uh, the Panthers have here. And, I'm um, looking forward to uh, starting the season this year. Question, how did you feel with Miguel on the weekend? I got a win. Sweet, I got a pass. I got a win. Come on for the Chris Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen. Now you're ahead. You've got to be used to that by now. Watching where your head goes. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, question. Glad to be back? Very glad to be back. I remember those succinct dances from two years ago. Uh, next question. Did you miss us? Yeah, I missed it, Gary. <laughs> Me? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, my family and I, we miss the city, we miss everything about it here. It was a great year. Last time, and hopefully, we can do the same this year. Did you miss me? Miss who? Me. Yeah, we know the answer to that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Bruce. The Bruce. The Bruce is on fire. See, this guy's got one of those voices that I might yet use on adverts on the radio. Uh, how you doing? No comment. <laughs> Uh, we'd like to be here. No comment. <laughs> Was it you that went through that red light last week in one of the Panthers shows? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because we signed a new deal this year, I'm sure you're aware of it, with the world famous Loughborough University. A fabulous deal for the Ronnie Panthers. It may lead to other things. But, um, nice. As part of the deal, Brian will be studying at the world famous Loughborough University. Thank you, Brian. Brian Schmidt, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, you've had some time up front already. Yeah, I've played a little bit of forward so far, so. And you scored in the Champions Hockey League. Yeah. That must have been fun. Yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I can't really take all the credit. Robo gave me a pretty, pretty good pass, basically, at a wide open net, so. So, then he would qualify for Great Britain. Would that be an ambition, perhaps? Yeah, it's one of the things I'm really interested in. I uh, didn't really know what to expect coming here, and I love it here so far, and hope that I can stay in, in Nottingham and Great Britain and try to play on uh, World Champions. Have a moment, ladies and gentlemen. One of our gold scorers. Wait, what the fuck about stairs, Bonnie? Like, where do you think you've been doing? Have you been having a canny time, like? Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself with the Nottingham Panthers? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, it's obviously my first year down here, and uh, I came late. 
and uh, the boys welcome me, you know, with open arms, so it's been a good time. And your wife and little little boy? Little girl. They all look the same about me. <laughs> uh, they arrived yesterday, today? Uh, they just got in today. They got in today, so you're thrilled to have been dragged to a club event tonight. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, you always need a break, right? Yeah, how, how's the car going? <laughs> car, whoa. Well, I almost took the side mirror off today on the way to the airport, but uh, it's, it's okay. I don't have any scratches or anything. Uh, but on the way back, it's a little better, so it should be good. Mike Baruby, ladies and gentlemen. Again, one of the guys that had to arrive late, took a bit of a knock. In at the deep end, at Luco and Luleo. How did you find last weekend? Uh, it was good, it was a good learning experience. Um, it was pretty good. But uh, I think we came together as a team pretty well. And uh, going into this weekend, that's you. You mentioned your roomie there, he's with Ziggins. You need to go back a while. Um, what has he told you about the elite group? Um, he hasn't told me much, actually. He just, uh, we don't really talk about hockey too much. Uh, we really talk about other things, you know? What else do you talk about? Uh, just life in general. You know, we kind of keep hockey to the side and, uh, you know, follow this. Thank you, Cody. Um, a big farewell to you. We'll bring Chris Higgins up because we're going to ask him what the meaning of life is. It's Chris Higgins! I'm doing good. I'm okay. Um, what is the meaning of life? The question the fans want to know is, why would you choose to come to Nottingham and not go back to Belfast? Um, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to... Because of the fans. Chris Higgins, ladies and gentlemen, Smith will be back in the back. Uh, Max, what do you think of us so far in Nottingham? C'est vraiment une belle ville, puis je suis vraiment content d'être ici. Et euh, je vais remercier tous les fans pour l'expérience. Euh... Oui? Oui, oui, c'est exceptionnel. Taco Max Perron! No Dickie Bow tonight. No Dickie Bow tonight. Just for games, Dickie Bow's for the games, okay. Uh, like Mark Lee, big mates with him. You've been around the block, you won't mind me saying so. You've been to a lot of places. How do we compare here in Nottingham? Man? Let me start by asking, how do the fans compare? Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a hockey town for England, and uh, that's what I want to be part of. Um, one of the places uh, I go to, uh, it's important that there's a passion in the city, and uh, to be part of that, and play in front of that, it's important as a player to, to obviously come to the rink and that the, the fans are, uh, have a lot of passion. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this year the Nottingham Panthers will be supporting the Ronald McDonald House Charities. The Ronald McDonald House Charity is hoping at some point in the not too distant future to build a house on one of the hospital sites in Nottingham at which the families can stay while the kiddies get in the treatment and they can be close at hand and all the rest of it. Earlier tonight, Robbo told me he'd like to donate to us to raise funds for our charity push this year. I'm sure you're all aware of this. One of his paintings. Painting is a hobby. I honestly think you're the first ice hockey player I've come across who does painting. Yeah, I, I, it's kind of funny because uh, you're right, I haven't met uh, another player I've studied that uh, I, I know of, but uh, it's a hobby that I've had and um, my grandfather's an artist and um, my uncle's a photographer and uh, they have arts and, uh, and the family DNA, so it's uh, it's something good to deal with, with uh, you know, outside the work and keep a little bit of balance. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be an artist on the ice for a while longer. Nathan Robinson! <laughs>